So guys, uh, this is your clock, real time clock. To uh, see the program training and uh, most importantly, you uh, gather the information. You have to Hello friends, I am SK your tech tutor and welcome to my YouTube channel TechTuber once again and uh, it has been two months almost I was not in YouTube. I'm sorry guys for that and uh, I was busy in exams and some projects so I was not in YouTube uh, since two, two last two months uh, but today I have an interesting project I will show you how to make a real time clock in your home and for that I'm using a uh, 16 cross 2 LCD display uh, to show the data and I am using the DS3231 real-time clock module and this is the real-time clock module uh, it has some features you will use only SCL and SDA for data transmission uh, serial communication and uh, it has a battery lithium-ion battery 3 volt backside to hold the date and time and moreover it can count uh, your leap years also and uh, the battery is long enough it can uh, give you backup almost one year and uh, this is a very uh, cheap module but it's very accurate module also it has an inbuilt temperature sensor so that you can sense the temperature your room temperature uh, with respect to the uh, outer temperature outside temperature uh, in India it's so chill uh, you can check your room temperature always so my room temperature is 20 degrees celsius and uh, it's outside 10 or 12 so it's so hot in my room so coming to the circuit part uh, before uh, making this uh, clock uh, it has a complex circuit because of this lcd uh, display uh, so this lcd display has uh, 16 connectors but uh, we will use here only 12 connectors uh, these are uh, here if, if we uh, start from the LCD you can see that it has an anode and cathode for backlight display uh, display backlight and it has a cathode cathode is connected to the ground uh, and the ground is coming from the Arduino directly and uh, the anode is connected to the plus 5 volt common uh, these are the common plus 5 volt and ground uh, and you can make it on breadboard and this common uh, 5 volt and ground is coming from the Arduino and this is for the backlight of this LED and now coming to the data portion you have uh, digital pins digital pins 7 to 4 you will connect digital pin 4 to uh, Arduino plus uh, Arduino 5 volt digital 5 uh, sorry digital 5 pin and uh, respectively we connect uh, digital pin 5 to Arduino 4 digital pin 6 to Arduino uh, 3 digital pin 7 to Arduino 2 and uh, again from this side uh, the VSS will be connected to the ground directly and uh, VDD will be connected to the plus 5 volt and V0 V0 is very important uh, you have to connect a 10 kilo ohm port uh, potentiometer uh, so that you can uh, adjust uh, the text the LCD uh, whatever text you will print on this LCD display you can adjust the display adjust the contrast of this text and for that you will use a 10 kilo ohm port and the middle pin of the port will be connected to the V0 of this uh, LCD display uh, of this display and uh, RS will be connected to the Arduino 12 pin number 12 and E will be connected to the Arduino 11 so these are the connection for LCD if you look uh, at the circuit it's so bulky uh, you will think that it's hard to make but you will make when you will make in uh, your own hand you will uh, do it per, uh, practically it's so easy so and uh, coming to the lower part of this uh, circuit uh, this is the clock module and this clock module is connected uh, again with the Arduino plus 5 volt and uh, ground and it has uh, two lines uh, data lines that is serial data and serial clock so SCL and SDA SCL will be connected with analog 5 and SDA will be connected with analog 4 and uh, remember one thing in Arduino Uno uh, the SCL and SDA is uh, dedicated on analog 5 and analog 4 so you, whenever you will uh, connect any SCL and SDA 
connection with Arduino, you will connect A4 and A5 respectively. So uh, this is the entire circuit of this uh, uh, real-time clock module. So let's check the circuit practically. So the circuit is uh, ready, and uh, you can. I will show you the circuit, and you. I will show you the program as well. So uh, this is the circuit, and uh, at, at first I will show you the common ground and the common uh, plus five volt or VCC. So in this breadboard, in this breadboard, this this line is common ground, and this line is common VCC. So if you want to uh, differentiate these uh, common lines in separate PCBs or uh, separate breadboards, you can do it. But uh, this is the entire circuit. It looks so bulky uh, because of this LCD display. It has only this display has 12 connectors. So assume that uh, how much bulky it can be. So this is the potentiometer uh, and uh, as the potentiometer is connected with V0, the middle pin is connected with V0. You can see here, this is your uh, V0 from LCD display, and this is connected with this same line and with middle pin of this potentiometer. And the uh, other two pins are connected with ground and plus 5 volt. So, this is your clock module. Clock module uh, has the dedicated uh, data line this side. You can use also these pins. This has SCL is connected with uh, the SCL is uh, blue and it is connected with analog pin of uh, analog 5 of this Arduino and SDA is connected to analog 4 of this Arduino and other uh, uh, plus 5 volt and ground is connected respectively as common ground and common uh, VCC. And coming to the LCD display again. The anode and cathode are connected directly to the plus 5 volt and uh, common ground here on this PCB uh, on this breadboard and the uh, other four digital data lines are connected with 5, 4, 3 and 2 here as I said before this are the, these are the connections this is the these are the four connections you can see these are the four connections here and these are these two are con this uh, these are the connection of from pin number uh, uh, 12 and 11 these are the connection pin number 12 and 11 it is connected to RW and E and these two are connected to respectively RW and E you can see on the circuit uh, sorry RS and E RW is connected to the ground RW is connected to the ground you can see here is uh, this green one is RW it is connected with ground and uh, the best part is at first you draw the circuit at first you saw the circuit or rather you can uh, download a PDF of this circuit it's available in uh, uh, other websites I will provide a picture of uh, this circuit you can pause the video previous one when I will uh, I was explaining this uh, circuit you can um, make it your own circuit on your uh, white paper and then connect the circuit because you need to avoid uh, any uh, cross connection or any short circuit uh, incidents so uh, this is the entire circuit uh, of this uh, real time clock and now I will put this entire circuit into an enclosure box. Uh, remember one thing the enclosure box was for uh, another purpose for the, for the next project but I will put the enclosure box here. And uh, this is your enclosure box and this is nothing but your electrical switch box. and this is how it looks ignore this section it's for another project I will show you the on the next project so you can put this entire circuit into this box you can ignore this part you don't need to cut this part you only cut uh, the LCD portion and put the entire circuit in inside this I will so guys uh, this is your clock real-time clock but uh, the programming part, I, uh, now I will show you the programming part. I swear you can't uh, make this clock without programming because you need to, sh you need, you need to uh, see the programming part very, very attentively because the programming part is very important. And uh, mainly for the LCD display, uh, for the text positioning and uh, most importantly your clock module your clock module you need to set your initial time 
on that clock module you have to reprogram it you have to re-upload it and you have to uh, gather the information you have to uh, gather the information from your clock module and you have to print it on your display so let's check the program on laptop now uh, coming to the programming part and at first you have to open Arduino IDE and then you need to install DS3132 uh, library file because uh, you need not to install a liquid crystal library file as uh, it's previously installed in Arduino but you need to install the DS3132 library file and for that you need to go uh, sketch then library files and uh, include library and then manage libraries so then here the library manager will open and you have to search for DS3132 sorry 3231 so here it is here it is and uh, I already installed uh, this library file I will recommend the first one not the second one and uh, the first one is very easy and uh, you need to install the uh, library file from here then you close it and then you click to file and examples from that you need to go find DS3132 here is a DS3132 go to Arduino go to serial easy and open it now after opening it uh, you will see there is a whole description for uh, other boards as you can see DS3132 is DA, SCL and uh, the pins respective pins for Arduino Uno and the other boards so at the lower part at the original program so you need to remove this one uh, I think you will get the fresh one I was experimenting experimenting something with some codes that's why uh, the wired.h library is here so you need not you need not to include word dot h uh, now the ds3132 uh, library is included and this is the example of uh, setting the time you have uh, now look attentively how you will uh, set the time to setting the time just uncomment these lines sorry uh, the you have to command this line uh, from uncomment so this is the line and uh, you set your day, your time, your uh, date. So your time is always in 24 hour format. You uh, set the time and uh, here you set the time uh, one minute faster because uh, it will take some time uh, to edit the program and then upload it. So I will recommend uh, to make one minute fast here from the real time. So then you need to upload the program in uh, your Arduino uh, as connected in uh, DS3132. Again, then you will see uh, it, it is taking the time and counting from that time. But for uh, continuous counting uh, independently, you need no, you need to again uncomment these lines after uploading first initial um, real times. You need to uncomment this again and again upload this program what, what you are doing you are actually uh, first time you set the time and then second time uploading the program and extracting the real time from this program actually for it loop section you can see here uh, it is uh, extracting the time now I will show you the LCD program and you know LCD program is very easy and here is LCD program is available here in your library so from example you need to open the liquid crystal example and go for a text hello world to print any text so in this library you will uh, in this program you will see that there is a this is a program uh, the description for pins as I explained before and you need to in, uh, include the library liquid crystal dot h and define the pins uh, on Arduino and uh, lcd.begin to communication and lcd.print the text whatever you want to print like here hello world so then uh, the other part is here uh, it will um, print continuously lcd is that and uh, now to coming to the exact program the clock uh, program 
so you can see that uh, we included uh, the two library files ds3132.h and liquidcrystal.h and uh, and ds3132 uh, rtc sda scl uh, and this line this line is actually to uh, create the communication between arduino and the sda and scl pin of uh, rtc module and uh, these two lines for display to define uh, the pins of uh, Arduino and uh, liquid crystal display and in void setup section you can see rtc.begin and lcd.begin 16 cross 2 to start the communication between two uh, modules again in void loop section you can see lcd.set cursor 00 that means you are setting the cursor of lcd display at 00, 0 position that means on the first cell in lcd display you have uh, 16 cells each line for two line so in first cell uh, direction is 00, 0. so lcd dot print rtc uh, dot get time string this is very important you are printing the data of lcd uh, data on the lcd uh, display which data the data is this one which is extracting from the rtc module rtc dot get time string so this uh, this line is very important this is extracting the data and printing on the lcd display for that this command is very important and next uh, if uh, if you want to put a bracket and then you start to extract the temperature uh, if you want to put the temperature in a bracket for that you start here a bracket and then close a bracket here with celsius so now uh, same for the extracting the temperature data and uh, the date for uh, next line if you want to uh, print the date on next line on lcd display this is very important if you don't put this lcd dot set crusher on 0 comma 1 it will not print the data on next line next line first cell address is 0 comma 1 that that means it's the second uh, line and first cell it's 0 comma 1 so for i'm setting the cursor of uh, the temperature data on 9 comma 0 that means the temperature data will show at 9 number cell from 9 number cell to uh, the rest part so this you can calculate how much uh, how much character you need for printing the data and then you can set up these values here so this is all for the program now uh, all you have to do uh, just upload the program now and it will run perfectly on your uh, setup so this is uh, the programming part and uh, if you like this one please subscribe my channel techtuber and share as much as you can and i want more more comments on this i wish you can make this and very very happy new year to all of you thank you